Isn't that the best vegan Alfredo pasta you ever had? Wow. Like holy moly. That's so crazy! Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we are going to be making Alfredo pasta. I'm super excited about this one. This recipe is going to be oil free, it's also nut free, and it can be made gluten free if you use gluten free pasta. And yeah, so we made a pizza recipe video a while back now, and we made this cheese out of tofu and milk, and it turned out really good. Look at wow. that. <laughs> but it's just tofu. It looks like melted cheese. Does it not taste like mozzarella? That's freaky. And as we were making it, we were like tasting it, and I was like, this tastes like it could be like Alfredo cheese sauce. So I was like, I need to create this Definitely. into an Alfredo cheese. So the recipe is going to be a little bit different. I'm honestly not really sure how it's gonna turn out. It's just kind of gonna be as we go along, like it's always. It's our first time making it again. I think we're gonna add less starch this time so it's not as sticky. Yeah, because when we made the pizza cheese, it mm -hmm. turned out to be like very like gooey, like cheese, because of the starch. So I don't think I'm gonna add as much starch, if not any at all, depending on how this turns out. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it, I'm, I'm excited. It's a rainy, kind of poopy day out, so it's a perfect day for pasta, so let's do it. Okay, so first we're going to start by making the sauce. Um, so the base of the sauce is going to be made from tofu. And so this tofu is extra firm tofu. It's a 350 gram packet. I think I'm going to use the whole thing. Um, it's organic, I think I said that, and also non-GMO. So that's really what you wanna look for when you're purchasing tofu. So we're going to add the tofu into the food processor along with some nutritional yeast, some lemon juice, some salt and pepper, dried parsley, a little tiny pinch of nutmeg, and some plant milk, and blend it up until it's a smooth, creamy texture. That's really thick. Is it? Add more milk. So we've just got some fettuccine noodles. These ones aren't gluten-free, but you, if you can find brown rice um, or any other type of gluten-free noodle, that would make this recipe gluten-free. And this is 500 grams, and we're just gonna cook that according to the directions on the package. While the pasta is cooking, we're gonna start cooking up our veggies that are gonna go into the pasta. I'm choosing to use cremini mushrooms and spinach because I absolutely love mushrooms and I love mushrooms and spinach in my Alfredo pasta. I haven't had Alfredo pasta in so long, so I'm so excited for this. And I've also got some onion and garlic chopped up. So I'm gonna start by cooking the onion and the garlic just until they start releasing flavors. The onion becomes a little bit more translucent and then we're going to add in our mushrooms and once those start to release their water, we're going to add in the spinach until it's wilted and also the fresh basil and then we'll combine everything together and it should be good. Also, I'd just like to add, if you want to substitute and do other veggies in this recipe, you can totally do that. I think like broccolis, broccolis? I think broccoli or peas or something like that would go really well with this recipe as well. So feel free to change it up to your taste preferences. It's getting hot in here. Steamy. It's like sauna. Okay, so this is smelling really, really good. Now we're going to add in our cheese sauce. And mix all that together. 
Hope that it works out. Alfredo sauce. Alfredo. Alfredo. It has a very nice texture to it because of the tofu. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it needs more acidity and definitely some garlic powder, maybe some onion powder. I think I should have added garlic powder and onion powder when I was blending it in the food processor. But it's not bad. I think it's pretty Maybe good. a little bit more lemon. <clears throat> a little bit more lemon? Yeah. More lemon, more garlic, and some onion powder. Thought we had onion powder, but we don't. So we're going to do without it. Guys, as always, it needs more salt. I added half a teaspoon of salt. Half already. a teaspoon? He's a tablespoon. That's yeah. A lot. So we'll say we're gonna add a, a full teaspoon instead of half a teaspoon. But it definitely it tastes a lot better after we added the garlic powder and, and the lemon juice. Not even that much right. better. Because we have a lot of onions in here already, so I think the flavors just really need to kind of like marinate together. Yeah, we more. should cap it, let it sit for like 10 minutes 10. on low and just let the flavors kind of blend together, I think. Yeah. Let's do that. And then let the flavors all come together as one. Figure it out Figure later. It out from there. Okay. You want to taste it? Saucy. <laughs> okay, so we've let it kind of marinate for a little bit. It smells really good. Kyle's gonna taste it. He's gonna let me know what he thinks. Mmm. Wow. Letting it sit really. It's because like the basil kind of needs to um, like spread around, and so does like the onion and the it garlic. Really does need yeah, I'm gonna eat the sauce now. <laughs> I'm surprised. That's so good. Wow. Yay! High five! We did it! Why do you always do that? He always fist like bumped me pumping. when I ask for a high five. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the best vegan Alfredo pasta you ever had? Or pasta, 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 pasta? Pasta, pasta, we're Canadian, okay, people? Alfredo, Alfredo. Wow. Like, holy moly. That's so crazy! Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed, that's amazing. Mind blown. <laughs> Okay, so we've already been eating it because it's so good. It's so hard not to. But this is amazing. You like it? Love it. This is one of the favorite, my most favorite recipes that we ever made. Mmm. Like, I love pasta. My mom loves pasta, I love pasta. And I haven't had like vegan Alfredo since I've been vegan. Like, I haven't had Alfredo since I've been vegan, and this is so good. The tofu cheese is amazing for this recipe because in Alfredo, you have like sort of like that Parmesan texture to it, and the tofu, the way that it blends, it kind of creates that Parmesan texture without adding like the Parmesan cheese or even vegan Parmesan cheese. 
It's amazing. And the mushrooms, oh my god, the mushrooms. This is how you make gains. Yeah, it's high in protein, like a whole block of tofu in this. Yeah, like, boys, it's how you make gains. It's such a healthy alternative to like a fatty cream sauce pasta. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And it tastes pretty much like the real thing. Also, we used soy milk for this recipe, so it was very soy tasting. Mm -hmm. um, I think if you used coconut milk, even like canned coconut milk, it would give it sort of that more like fatty texture and make it a little mm -hmm. bit more creamy. Yeah. But this is a more low fat version that tastes mm. just as good anyway, so. So the full recipe, all the ingredients and the method, how to do everything, how to make it is going to be in the description of this video. I think a lot of people haven't been finding that in all the other recipe videos, but everything is there in the description box for you to follow. So go check that out if you're gonna make this recipe. And if you do make this recipe, make sure to take a picture, post it on Instagram, tag us. Our Instagrams are up here above Kyle's head. And I mean, it's, Bing. it'll be a beautiful, a beautiful picture. I really hope you guys try out this recipe. It's crazy, so good. And it's super easy, super quick to make. Like, it is. The amount of time it takes to make the pasta, we made the sauce, so it was great. Team work. It helps to have a, uh, another person in the kitchen. I can't stop eating it. I know, I'm just like, I'm just gonna eat this whole thing right now. I mean, this is going all in my belly. I feel like you're not gonna be able to finish all of that. That's so much pasta. No, I'll finish this all. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this recipe video. I really hope that you guys try this out. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.